All right, so apps. Let's see what we got here. See all apps. So these are the apps that are on here, right? You might be able to install an APK, but here's what you're going to have. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Here's what you're going to have to do. I think it's like the old school ones. Send files to DV, okay? Uh, to see downloaded file location, check or change the path in the settings panel. SFT TV is a symbol. More info. What do I need to do? It says to see downloaded file location, check or change the path in the settings panel. It's a simple application to connect your smart TV Android to your Android mobile device and your personal computer. It allows you to fastly and easily share movies or any or TV shows or any files between these devices through your local network. No internet required. Uh, okay, so how do I change the path? Uh, let's see. All right, well, let's download it and see. Install. <laughs> Open. In order to use SFTTV on your local network, you'll need to install the Android application on your TV and on your mobile or each device that you wish to use transferring files. So let's do that. So let's go to the App Store. Let's search. What, what is it? S F T T V right here. Okay. Open that up. See, I could install it from your uh, Android phone. You can install it uh, on any of your devices here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and scroll through the settings here. So as you can tell, same as the TV. Send files with send files to TV from other Android applications like Gallery, Google Docs, and Google Photos. Okay, so I'm assuming Google Drive will work. So you're going to need to upload an APK to Google Drive and then send that file to your TV. Okay, and choose that when you want to share it. So you want to share the APK and then choose that when you share the APK, right? Send files to TV for Android also works with the desktop app, which is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Okay, let me take a picture of that because I'm going to install that on my PC. Okay. In order to send and receive files, send files to TV. You need your permission to read and write files. Okay. Allow. Allow. <laughs> Manage all files. Yes. Allow. And now we have to activate it here. Yes. Okay. Let's go to settings and see what we got. Google TV streamer. Transfer directory. So here's where it will go. Storage emulated. Oh, down. So we are going to need a, you're going to need the APK and uh, the, of whatever app you want. Uh, I suggest you go to APK Mirror. That's where I get all my apps, my, my third party apps from. APK Mirror. Just Google that. It's the only place I trust because there's so many malicious apps out there. Uh, they've been around for forever and never had a malicious app downloaded from their site. But you're going to need the APK you want and you're going to need a file sharing app. So I would I would install both of those. Let's see. Allow access to all files. Yes. Allow... Did we already do that? Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Receive transfers. Yes. Launch at startup. Yes. Overwrite. Replace existing files with the same name. Screw it. Modify date. Notification. All right. Looks pretty simple. 
So let's go on the application. Allow, 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 allow. Settings. So let's try it out. I'm going to download an app. Hang on. All right, so what I'm going to attempt to do is download Google Chrome, the full Chrome browser, onto this device. Now, when you go to APK Mirror, it gives you a bunch of options of what, what type you want to download. What I'm going to do is download ARM64 right here. ARM64. It's not x86. That would be for computers. ARM64, so we're going to download that one. Download APK. Stupid ad. And yes, download anyway. Okay, so now I am going to send it and a uh, in a uh, file file manager app to this device. Hang on. Okay, so I have downloaded Explore. Explore is my favorite uh, file uh, manager, and then Chrome. So, like it said here, let's long press that. We're going to share it. So, three dot menu, send, and then we're going to choose that app to send it to. So, what was the name of it? ST. Should be in alphabetical order. There it is, right here. We're going to choose the Google Streamer. Boom. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. Now, let's go back. And let's long press Google Chrome. Let's send it to the TV. Send here. Yes. Look at that. Sweet. Now we got to find out how to. So it's on here. Now we got to find out how to down. I mean, how to install it. So I wonder how that works. So let's. I guess you just click on one of them and it installs it. Let's see. Let's download the file manager. Open. Yes, allow. Yes. Open. Install. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. All right. There you go. Now you can in install any uh, APK you want. I'll put links in the video description. APK Mirror. Only get them there. That's the only safe place I get mine from. Do what you want, but on those, that's my recommendation. Now let's install Chrome. All right. So now that we're at home, let's go over to apps. And do we have an app library here where apps from other devices? 
where I guess you got to go. Oh, here's a, it's like the old ones, old TV, uh, Google TV boxes, uh, streamers. So you're going to have to go to, you're going to have to go to all settings up there in the top, right? Then you're going to have to go down to apps, see all apps, and there you go. Chrome, uh, let's see. And you can install anything you want. So that's very, very cool. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied now because, um, I mean, with Google TV, they only allow a certain number of Google TV approved apps on this device. But I just showed you a workaround to get um, any application you want that runs on Android or uh, on a Chromebook. You can have it on here. So you can bypass their Google TV restrictions. And as you can tell, the apps work just fine. And to get... As you can tell, you can go to my file manager. And remember, they're not, for whatever reason, remember, Google doesn't want you to throw any app on there. They only want you to run Google TV apps. So it's not going to be listed on here. Now, you can put another launcher. They have Google TV launchers on the Play Store. Or you can download the app and install it here. But to see all your apps, you're going to have to go all the way over to your settings. And they're right there. And then all settings. And then scroll down to apps. And then all apps. There you go. And then obviously, if you wanted to update everything, uh, I said I had a lot of updates. So I'm going to update everything. But that's about it. I mean, it's pretty cool. It gives you a nice little uh, entertainment. Gives you a nice little entertainment box. So it's a 4K streamer. And everything shall work. Now, I'm not going to play any videos because I'm probably going to get a copyright strike. But you, you get the point, right? <laughs> I mean, you can, it's, it's like any other uh, TV streamer. But this is a Google product that you can sync with all of your devices in the home. Uh, or that you have, right? Phone, tablet, even uh, transfer files from your computer, all sorts of stuff or via the network. I got all these games here that I don't play, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, all that good stuff. So very cool. I'm very impressed now. I'm happy. Uh, I thought they totally blocked APK third-party app access, but it appears it can be done. If you've got any questions whatsoever, hit me up in the comments. I check them every day. I'm going to link a, the APK mirror for you where you get your third-party apps. Don't go anywhere else. Um, remember you need the arm 64 version of these apps. Don't do X 86. That's it for a, uh, desktop. Uh, let's see, or a laptop. Uh, what else? Uh, I'll put all the links that everything you need, um, in the description box below. I'll even link that file explore, uh, app that I use. So, uh, check the description box down below the title of this video and I'll have everything you need down there. So, I appreciate your time. Uh, and again, this is Google did not send this to me. Uh, well, they did send it to me, but I paid for it. So it's not a sponsored video. I paid with this for my own money. No affiliate links or anything associated to this. Just a simple review of a new product that I was uh, anticipating. So uh, appreciate the time. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.